Morning everybody, welcome back. I hope you've managed to have a lovely half term um, and had a bit of a rest and a break from your screens uh, and hopefully you're refreshed and ready to go for the second half of the spring term. Um, hopefully, we'll see what Boris says this evening, um, but we might not be doing home learning for too much longer, which will be, I'm sure, welcome news to everybody. Um, I thought at the start of the half term, uh, it was a good idea to update you on the evolution expedition. So a huge thank you again to everybody who sent me uh, details over half term of how far they've travelled and how much distance they've covered. If you have covered distance and you haven't been able to send that through to me yet, uh, no problem. Perhaps you could just drop me an email and let me know um, so we can add to the total. But uh, I thought I'd give you an update at the start of the half term and set a little challenge for people over the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to start by showing you uh, the map. We have now covered a total distance of 27,971 kilometres. And you'll notice from the map that we've now gone past the Galapagos Islands and made it to Tahiti, which was the challenge I set people during the half-term holidays. And we are now um, coming to the edge of the map and looking to cross over to New Zealand, which is our next destination, about 3,000 kilometres from where we currently are. So that will involve us moving from one side of the map to the other, which will be a significant moment in our journey. Uh, well done to everyone who's contributed. In terms of uh, groups of people in our community who might have uh, contributed and people who joined the 100 Club and, and, and where different groups are, um, I'm just going to share that with you now. So our parents are still well out in the lead with a total distance covered of 12,320 kilometres. And there are three new entrants to the 100 Club amongst our parents. So huge congratulations to Mrs Gilbert, Mrs Hayward and Mr Scott. Our pupils are second with a distance of 7,931 kilometres covered. And a huge congratulations to Zach Dunn, George Hayward, Megan Hayward, Harvey Irish and Beth Scott, who've all made it into the 100 Club over the half-term period. And that leaves the staff. The staff are um, still third but they are now only 200 kilometres behind the pupils. And I reckon by the time we finish our challenge, uh, the staff may well have overtaken the pupils. So uh, pupils, you better get your skates on, you better start contributing. Um, there are three new members of staff who made it into the 100 Club. So Madame de Lavernier, uh, Miss Gearing and Mrs Newnham have all done that and a huge congratulations to them. I thought with a couple of weeks left of lockdown, potentially slightly longer, we'll see what Boris says this evening, but assuming there's only a couple of weeks left, um, that's the point at which we're going to end our challenge. So I want to set you a challenge between now and then. We are 3,000 kilometres from New Zealand, from going over to the other half of the map. My challenge to you, or to us as a community, is to try and travel that distance before the 8th of March, which looks like the likely date for people to start returning to schools. So we've got two weeks to try and cover 3,000 kilometres and get as far as we can in the expedition, because when we're back at school, um, we'll stop and we'll see how far we've, we've gone in total. So anything you can do in the next couple of weeks would be hugely appreciated. Just keep letting me know, as you always do, uh, and well done to those who've contributed so far. Stay safe, stay active, and I hope to see you all in person very soon.